Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel, and welcome to another Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So right now we are slowly finishing the conquest of the Riftborn space. Now we are at Quadas, we're gonna take another turn here, and after the next battle we should be finished here, and we're gonna go after Octans next, then Gemini, and these systems will be fully captured then. Once we're done with this place, my, I'm gonna set my side, side towards the mm, Volter space, because I want their territory next. They've got a nice amount of systems here, they've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 systems over there. So that will provide us with almost everything we need for the conquest victory. Also, we've got a few systems which we could take over over here. Uh, cross, gender, Maz, potentially I, nay. We sure if we manage to grab that, hmm, that quest objective. We can find that funny lab somewhere. And we're gonna see where that leads us. So, let's simply end turn. Let's continue on. Let's start another hack or two. Okay. Let's get a hack to Octans as well. Okay, pick it back an accelerator. Mm hmm. Not sure what's why did that okay never mind. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay, there's that fleet of theirs. Okay, chameleon spaces is done, so now we have access to the Slagon Slide Center. Sable got compromised. Let's get the sleeper reintegration going here. And Rhea got blockaded. Okay, let's blitz them there. We're low on manpower. You're one of our favorite fish in this. Okay, let's capture this system now. Quadus has been captured. Let's grab some smart tax collection there. Ah, that fleet. Okay, that explains a bit. Okay, now let's get some upgrades going here. Let's switch this specialization out for another one. Here I'm gonna go and grab a hmm, geo-industrial plant and a colonial exchange at that desert planet. Okay. Next I want a interplanetary transport network and a sim camp over here. And some colonial rights. Okay. Warriors. Now they're happy there. Still, let's build the well being foundation and a level 3 modernization. Also, we could use some extra industry here. So, let's get these up. Let's get some geo industrial plants going over there. Hmm, in the savannah world. Let's get a exoscience station going over there. Okay. Now we need to pick some more research here. And I'm thinking about these. Hmm. 
Let's build the Zelvis Incarnate. Let's grab also these up these ship upgrades because we're gonna need those. And now here. Behemoth exploitation for some extra limits. Behemoth mm, weaponization not necessarily. Antimatter intensifier might be good if we had just enough antimatter available. Integrated theaters. This is something that I want because that will allow me to use mm, air units in ground battles. Okay, next. Real time relays, little squadrons. Let's grab the tensor algorithms there. And some extra shielding and plating. Okay, I've got 23 turns of tech queued up here. After that I want some climate engineering. Low Kelvin Sciences. Hmm. Custom nucleotides and a enhanced exploration ship. Okay, I believe that's more than enough tech for now. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Another curiosity there. Let's continue on. Revive and rebuild battle tactic. Okay, next turn. Okay, now we do possess 12 cold plants, so we've gained that bit of Gedonics. Now increase the system level of Groos. Okay, in order to do that we need to get that level 4 modernization up and running. For sure I'm gonna use the virtual artifacts, that's a no-brainer. Also I'm thinking about going with dust water. And I'd love to get the protospores, but I'm inclined to go for ionic crystals instead because we don't have that much of those protospores. We actually don't have that much of dust water as well, but still, gonna go for something like this. Okay, let's confirm this. Let's upgrade Groos with to level four. Okay, let's get these couple of battleships done, and after that, that level four modernization. Okay, and now let's see they and Zhu. Okay, adaptive taxation, smart taxes. Can grab another level four modernization. I'm gonna do that here at Hazy. Okay. Calling Fet Iska. That's Ceres. I'd love to get take a closer look at that system. Okay, we're ecstatic over there. So we could go for some influence. Might not be a bad idea. We could also go for manpower. Gonna go for influence for now. One level up here. It's sable. Let's get more industry. Now zoo. They're only happy here. Ok, 
Okay, let's grab the microwave pipes. Some science upgrades. Xeno you know, industrial infrastructure, provost production, and smart tax collection, and I suppose that's enough for now. And let's continue on. Okay, we've got another election. So I'm gonna support the militarist further. like the ecologists are gonna be second most supportive party again or it might be the pacifists or the industrialists well that's beneficial to us I can use that to our advantage okay Germany is hacked Love to infiltrate their scanners and see where and what they have. And we've got another hero available. From the... Academy. Let's see. Could grab another fleet commander. For that... This hero might prove beneficial. She's an industrialist, so that's something that I want to have. Okay, let's see. Enhanced astral navigation, hull plating penetration, probe recovery rate, hull plating absorption. Well, there are a few upgrades available here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a fleet commander here. Also, speaking of fleet commanders, I could probably upgrade Hadrilenko's ship. Some better modules. I've been neglecting his ship for a while now. Which is a huge mistake on my part. Okay, this is a basic plasma beam. Let's grab a cleaver. Apply this. Also, we've got some basic upgrades available, if I'm not mistaken, for some of our ships. Or maybe not. Okay, never mind. I recovered some pros, we can start a new expedition. Last curiosity here. Super spots. Now we've got the Isiander's Gambit quest. So now we need to start. I think we must choose a side. Either we go for rejuvenating. Hmm. Okay, let's defend. This time. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we managed to secure this system. Now I'm gonna use it as a base to capture these other systems here. For now, simply, I'm gonna go and grab some basic upgrades before going further. Let's grab the sim camp here. Okay, let's assign some need upgrades. Okay, blood send. Okay, and I'm gonna assign her to this new fleet here. Ok, 
Okay. Now let's take a look here. We've got eight ships, seven of which are medium ones. So I still want an, at least an, another ship here. Or we could grab four of those. Okay. Let's grab one missile battleship. I'm gonna grab a missile corvette as well. And then I'm gonna send this fleet after these guys. Simply to clear that place out. Okay, let's queue up these upgrades as well. Okay, now what about Ceres? Still got a few upgrades here available. Let's get those done. Okay, good enough. Okay. Now, I would love to spread those remnants out to different systems. I'm gonna use that to my advantage that they have them. The reason I want to do this is especially that they support the industrialist heavily and that's something that I want to have simply because they have a lot of useful laws available so that's something that I want okay now let's see more curiosities here and there okay let's defend here for now we get those two ships done. And let's defend here. Okay, Emperor's Shadow is down, so now we can build the Zelovus Incarnate. Okay, Hostile Trace detected. Not surprisingly, let's get a piggyback installed there. Okay, now we need to find an orbit for at least four of these lodestone systems. There is one over there. I'm gonna do something about that one. Okay, now Pardalis, it's still mutinous, mostly from ownership. Let's grab the colonial exchange and the luxury lottery. Now, due to the fact that I've decided to go for ionic crystals, I'm gonna focus perhaps more on grabbing the for modernizations rather okay now here we still got one labor upgrade that will be this conscription genius okay now Adrilenko let's see one additional command upgrade and that will be the bespoke arms there we go. Okay, let's end turn. And it's time to go after Octans as well. Okay, let's jam commit. Oh, they got a figurehead there. So let's injure that one. Okay, one piggyback and one accelerator there. Okay. I assume this is another dishonorable proposal. Okay, whatever. 
Okay, nothing here, nothing there. Let's move these fleets finally. It's time time to go. After Octans and Gemini. Now Quadis and Pardalis are mutinous. Arcturus and Viatris and a bunch of other systems are only content. So I'm gonna work on that. Slowly. Okay, there's another lodestone over there. Gonna build a patrol ship and send it out that way to explore it. Okay, and turn. Okay, got our ships here. I trust you no more than I would trust a clan merchant selling Kasai. Tell us. T okay, let's merge these two. Let's work on the drop ship. Okay, now I want a microprobe factory and some titanium probes here. This will be more of an explorer ship. Let's get some. Got stuff installed here. There we go. And let's move out. Because we need to remove those pests from our systems. Okay, now here our tourists. We're content at 38% only. Hmm. Let's grab a colonial exchange here and a well being foundation. Gonna queue up a Zelvis incarnate here for now. And let's see. Elyon. We're ecstatic here, so we don't need any more happiness. Let's grab another level of farming logistics. Let's move the ships. Okay, and now I'm gonna send this patrol ship down to Amdor to secure that load still. Patrol ship will be done next turn. And here we need to send a probe out to discover that one. And let's move this one there. Also, speaking of probes, we could we can exchange this probe here for a titanium one. That's something that I want to do. Okay. Let's end turn. Okay, low temperature construction is done, so now we can enhance our subprint class hulls. Gonna look at that in a moment. Now at Gemini, let's scramble their navigation again. Hmm. Okay, let's install a piggyback and an accelerator here. start another hack but this time I'm gonna start it from a different source okay there we go Cruise is upgraded and that means that we can start building the autonomous administration and I'm gonna do that instantly okay we've got our scientific behemoth done as well so let's send that one out only let's see what do we have available and what could we use surely we could use some antimatter so let's see at which special now we can get that 
Asteroid fields and collapsing stars. Do we have any of those here? Nebular clouds, solar nebulas, nebular cloud. No collapsing stars nor asteroid fields, so we're not gonna get what we want. So it's either solar nebulas or nebular clouds. Hmm. The nebular clouds will be better, in my opinion, simply because those resources are much rarer. So I'm gonna send our scientific behemoth over there. Okay, Sirius has secured. Has been secured over there. Now let's move. Okay, our patrol ship is done. Let's send it out. Let's upgrade it. Let's send that probe out. Skip a turn. And not, not like this. More like this. Okay. And turn. Okay, now you got the gun father. Hmm. Okay, let's go for a gun, because I'm going that way either way. Okay, let's see. Defenders have set foot on side, that's good. One level up here. Let's see. Let's grab the star tracking instruction for extra movement. Now let's see, Rhea. Don't have anything to do here, so let's keep it as it is. Now Quadus, really content here. Let's grab a level 3 modernization, as well as the Wellbeing Foundation, since we are only content at 32%. I believe I'm gonna go and terraform this planet into a savanna world. Okay, now Beatrice. I've managed to reduce that permanent monsoon. That's good. Let's grab another planet there. Some echo habitats. Intense cultivation logistics for extra food. Some extra AI labor. Colonial rights for sure. And let's grab a level 3 modernization here. Okay. That's good. Defender team has set for them Kalem, that's good. Now let's move this patrol ship out. Let's move this one towards Graphias. Okay, now here. Time to remove this fleet. Okay, let's start the battle. We got five ships. Three of which are spirits, one phantom, and one geist, which is not armed at all. Got 11 points. They shouldn't be able to do much. So I'm gonna keep it as it is. And we can watch this battle. Okay, they've surprised a bit. I went to the third lane, type the second one. Didn't expect that. Hmm. Too bad I cannot control the sh sh 
the battle in, in any way. Okay, still they are getting wrecked. Even though our third lane is getting wrecked as well. Okay. One ship is down. Now the last one. There we go. Okay, so we lost two ships while finishing them off. Okay. Now let's remove that civilian ship as well. Let's get some support in here. Love we'll to get another battleship in. So I'm gonna remove one of these missile corvettes from here and send the battleship in there. And now I suppose I'm gonna start simply start the ground invasion because we have more than enough manpower to deal with Dub. Okay, one major one minor victory. Okay, next we've got the dependency algorithms. Also, we have access to upgraded ships, so we can upgrade those. Can I go and grab a sync laser there? One pinch beam over here. Now here. I'd love to get a lock on. I'm gonna have to grab that tech. Surely I'm not gonna use the Emperor module because that doesn't make much sense. Cloakers, slugs. Slugs might prove useful actually. Let's do something like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's defend here. And I'm gonna take one extra turn and then I'm gonna end this episode because it's over time already. Okay, dependency algorithms is done, so now we can enhance the shared and class halls. And we also have access to the abilities of all space time and extra law slots. Okay, the behemoth exploitation is done as well. And we've managed to reach 60 population with an empire. So the dust and strategic resources retrofit costs have been reduced by 25%, which is nice. Okay, let's blitz them again. Okay, one more battle. And somebody else has taken over the... brings peace to the heart. Somebody else has taken over the full bomber. Okay. Can I install a lot in a moment? And now let's take a look here. Okay, we could use more dust water. Let's see. We're getting some extra dust water from here and here. It can improve the luxury freighters. Okay. Hmm. Let's improve the Dust freighters here. Okay. One level up here. At Sable. Hmm. Now we are losing slowly happiness here. Should deal with that a bit. 
Let's grab the crowd controller. Okay, now here. Now we could go for additional influence upgrades, and I suppose I'm gonna go for that. Let's grab the nano haze defenses and let's go for public 3D printing here. Now Arcturus, they're content. I'm gonna upgrade another planet here into a more suitable one. Let's grab the Xenotrans agencies, the adaptive taxation and the smart tax collection. Let's move our ships and let's deal with this fleet here. Okay, I hope that we have enough powerful ship to deal with them. Hmm. Now last time they have surprised us with going in two lanes and I'm gonna do the same here. Okay, let's send the missile ships over here. Well, the standard battleships will mainly go here. Okay, let's focus on two lanes. Let's watch this battle. Okay, you hit the spot, so... This will be more of an even match. Okay, let's see what will happen. Okay, they lost their first ship, that's good. Okay, so now they're fo focusing mainly on that defender ship. Okay, it's down. Okay, most of this first lane is now focusing on the second one for some reason. Looks like there's some problem with the music. Okay, another ship lost in their fleet. The missile just went by the uh, screen. <laughs> nice one. Okay, now we have the morale advantage. This lane is down. So now only this one is left. Okay, two ships left. And there we go. Managed to wreck them, losing one cruiser. So if we lost one cruiser, I'm gonna grab another one. Let's upgrade this fleet. Okay. Five levels here. A huge level up. Okay. Let's go for this. Now let's see. Need a little bit more manpower here, so let's go on defense for a moment. Let's get some upgrades here. We don't need the well-being foundation over here for now. So let's keep it as it is. We can build a nano haze. Let's go for a planet cracker. And now for Dallas. We're content. Still have minus 27.2 from ownership, so still gonna be able to boost that a bit. Let's get some of these 
industry upgrades in, then the food upgrade, the echo habitats, and after that some research upgrades and the dust upgrades as well. Okay, now let's see. Arcturus would be next for a level up to level 4, but we still don't have enough dust water. Actually, can we buy some dust water on the market? Well, there is a bit of it, but it's quite expensive. Can grab, let's say, 24. So we can buy using influence, so that's good. Let's do it like this. Let's see, I'm not using protospores for system development, so we can potentially sell some of it instead. Okay, that's good. Jadonix is the cheapest resource. Decidious trees. Well, they are not too bad considering the amount that we have. Hmm. Okay, let's sell some of this as well. There we go. And looking at the time, it's time to wrap up this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them, and I hope I'll see you guys at the next episode. See you around!